perfect. Then I'll give you mine. So it's good. I'm going to give you my last take. Perfect. Whether you are good or bad or a superstar or a bench player, if you are a professional athlete with a pedestal, with a platform to be able to say something, it is in my opinion that you have to either fully commit to being fully politically involved or you need to take yourself fully out. The exact example that I will use is Tom Brady. Tom Brady does not put in his two cents into any, into any of it. Politically, good, bad, indifferent. He doesn't put his opinion out there. And I respect that. LeBron James picks and chooses when he wants to put his opinion out there. So my last take, do politics have a, uh, do sports and politics mix? They're inevitably going to mix. You need to fully commit or fully decommit from being politically involved. If you have that sort of pedestal, that is my last take. My last take. Do I think sports and politics mix? Yes and no. I'm kind of along the same lines as you. I believe you have a responsibility as someone with a platform to use that platform to make changes in our society, to shift the way we think. You also have a great responsibility with the way in which you do it. And there's never going to be a right or wrong way of doing it. You know, it's ne- there's always going to be someone to say, you didn't do that right. You did that wrong or whatever the case might be. There's always going to be naysayers. I'm a firm believer. If you believe in something, then you better stand up and you better say something. But you're in it. Once you say it, you are in it. You are in it until you are not. And when you're not in it, that means you have solved it or society has decided it's no longer worth the conversation. But either way, you need to be in it till the end. I'm sorry, Colin Kaepernick. You took a knee. But as far as I'm concerned, that's all you've done. What else have you done? Please tell me what bills, what legislation has happened in this country as it relates to what you did. My goodness gracious, Kim Kardashian got a bill passed for prisoners. Kim Kardashian. (laughs) I mean, come on. You're telling me you couldn't go and figure this out? You can't find legislators? Why not? I'm sorry, but talk is cheap. If you want to get things done in this country, there are ways to do it, and you have the money, the resources, and the notoriety to get it done, and you haven't done it. So if you're going to stand out there and you're going to say something, Megan Rapino, I got as much as that no one likes her, she's getting shit done. She's out there. She's trying to get equal pay for women. She's she is she is trying to get things. Colin Kaepernick, what have you done? If you're going to do it, then do it. Mm-hmm. Get, get things done. I'm sorry, but when I want something done, I make three million phone calls. 800 emails, I find a way. Please tell me what he's done to solve social injustice in this country. And I will go, I will give him his credit. But he hasn't done that. LeBron James, what have you done? Yes, you've built some schools. Congratulations. But what have you done to solve social injustice in this country? Have you walked one march with any of these parents who have lost their kids that you're so quick to get up there and say, I, you know, what they did was wrong. Where are you? If you're going to do this, then do it. Don't half-ass it. And that's where I think America has a problem. It's because the athletes get up there in their entitlement, and they're like, that's bad. Don't do that. They're wrong. And they and then that's all they do. We're going to go ra- wear a T-shirt now on Tuesday night at our game. It's not enough. If you're going to do it, go do it. Mm-hmm. But don't half-ass it. And right now, I believe athletes just use their platforms for whatever, and it means nothing. They've lost their ability to make impact, and and the impact they do make is negative. Like you said, with Tom Brady, if he came out tomorrow and said, "Guys, 
I stand with anyone who's ever had, you know, an involvement with the police, who've had a bad whatever. The whole world will go, oh my God, Tom Brady has an opinion. Holy shit. And mm -hmm. everyone would stop and listen for a second. Because he doesn't just run his mouth continuously he doesn't. about different things that he has no idea about. And that, that's just what it is. That's what it is. And that's my last take on this fine Wednesday evening. So